So this is my TIG setup. And right here, I have the JMC servo motor in, IHSV57. And this is a 100 watt version. It comes in 100, 140, and 180 watts. And this is the first time I'm hooking it up to the mill. So this is a TIG lead screw CNC. Uh, it's about 15 years old, but only has about one year of use on it. Over here, I have a 48 volt, ten, a 9.8 amp ten, uh, switching power supply, a 5 and 24 volt switching power supply, a UC CNC AX BBE uh, motion controller, and here's another servo I had on the bench testing. This is the one that I had changed the parameters on before. This one that I mounted on the mill has all the stock parameters. Uh, I didn't touch it. And this is my really hokey coupling arrangement right now. Uh, there's a, a, a spring flex coupling there. Oh, it's this coupling, same one. And what I did is I drilled and tapped the end of it to thread onto the end of the lead screw. Um, I don't, uh, eventually if I keep this I'll cut the shaft but this is just temporary to see uh, so you can see I used whatever I had in the shop as spacers because the shaft is too long but that's just temporary and it also spins uh, because it's it's not the way it was designed by TAG so it's a modification but it's just temporary to see if this works so here's UCCNC uh, I'm set at 32,000 pulses per inch and 150 inches per minute and acceleration 22 inches per second per second so look at this go it's crazy fast I've never seen anything like this in person uh, if you recall before my power supply when it was hooked up to this motor was clicking uh, not during the jog and not at the beginning of the jog but when I released the jog it will click anytime the acceleration was above 15 here I can get it to 22 without clicking now if I go to 25 and apply the settings it will start clicking again So you can hear that number. So if something happened, for whatever reason mounted on the table, that's the acceleration go a little bit higher before it clicking. Uh, and now actually, uh, I'll go to the max speed. Which is 178 because I'm at 100 kilohertz. So that's absolutely crazy and you hear the shaft vibrator a little bit there and again this coupling arrangement is is obviously no good right now and probably a lot of the vibration is coming from that uh, but let me put this back to 150 and put the acceleration back to 22 and apply So again, this vibration is coming from the coupler. I'm pretty confident on that. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased. So the next steps are, I have to figure out <clears throat> how to make this coupler work well. Uh, cut the motor shaft and put all this stuff here inside of a box like this. By the way, here's the old system and it's still hooked up on the other axis. So you can see that. That's 40 inches per minute on Mach. And this is hundred and fifty inches per minute. Thanks for watching.